Hi guys. Okay, I decided to make this video. Uh, somebody contacted me um, on Facebook today. Somebody that I guess uh, watches my YouTube videos and uh, they had a question in regards to the progesterone cream that I was taking during my pregnancy with Jacob. And the funny thing is that um, actually yesterday I was thinking of making a video today uh, in regards to uh, just information to share with you guys of how I got pregnant, what I did to get pregnant, to stay healthy, blah, blah, blah. So, um, you know, her question came in handy and, you know, it reminded me that regardless I was going to make this video today. So... Here I go, you guys. Okay, so what I wanted to share with you guys was practically pretty much what I did. But before I get into that, uh, the main question that she had asked me was in regards to the progesterone cream. Um, she, her, her exact question was, what did I do? Um, how did I use the progesterone cream in order to get pregnant? Um, here's my answer, and I want to clarify this for those of you who might, um, you know, who might not know. Um, I don't want there to be any confusion. I did not get pregnant using the pre the progesterone cream. I started using the progesterone cream as soon as I found that I was pregnant uh, in order to sustain the pregnancy to make sure that my progesterone levels were high enough to sustain the pregnancy. So um, I did not use it before getting pregnant. I bought it and I had it before getting pregnant because I was prepared so that as soon as I got my BFP, I could start uh, using the cream. So pretty much I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what it is that I did, what worked for me uh, in my case uh, with past history dealing with PCOS. So um, pretty much um, before I got pregnant with Jacob, I had a different OBGYN who was the one who delivered my first son, Samuel. He... Um, he diagnosed me with PCOS. There was never any tests really run on me, anything to officially diagnose it. But um, according to him, from all the, the symptoms that I had and everything, um, pretty much he considered that uh, what I had was PCOS. So anyway, um, I started reading on a progesterone cream um, on why people... First of all, why it's so hard for people with PCOS to get pregnant, not only that, but I looked into what caused um, the miscarriages if you were already pregnant while having PCOS. So um, practically that's how I started getting into the whole thing of the progesterone cream and researching it and everything. But the main thing that I did to get pregnant was, first of all, I got healthy. I followed a PCOS diet, which is not really hard to find. If you go online and you Google it, you'll, you're going to pretty much follow sort of like a diabetic diet. Uh, even if you're not a diabetic, that's the best diet you could do if you have PCOS. So pretty much what I did was I laid off carbs and sugars. I cut as much carbs and sugars as, as I could could from my diet I started juicing somebody gave me a juicer so I started juicing every single day religiously um, at least once a day that's all I did once a day mixed fruits and veggies honestly I didn't have one specific um, recipe but if you go online you can look up all kinds of recipes you want for juicing if that's something that interests you in detoxing your body and getting healthier um, Every day I, do, I would just try a different variety of fruits and vegetables and just put it all in my juicer and juice. Uh, green juice is really good, which is practically everything that's green. Kale, cucumbers, uh, pineapple. Well, pineapple is not green, but just, you know, for the, for the juice of it. Um, what else would I put in my green juice? Limes, uh, ginger. So... Pretty much that's what I did. I started juicing, detoxing my body. I started looking online into how to detox old toxins from your body so that your body stops rejecting pregnancies uh, because maybe uh, you, you still have some old toxins in your body and your body's trying to get rid of it. So pretty much that's what I did. I cut carbs and sugars. I started juicing. I started walking every single day in the park, Monday through Friday. Um, 
I had my mom for support also because she she would walk with me uh, every day <laughs> she would pick me up every day around 5 p.m. and we would walk around the park at least for an hour and practically that's all I did you guys then when I would get home right after the park um, I also made a video about this a while back so if you look back in my old videos you're gonna find how to uh, detox uh, your body but um this is something that i that i learned and it, it worked for me really good when i would get back from the gym i would get in the shower uh i'm sorry right before i would get in the shower i would get a a, a brush with like soft bristles the ones that usually are meant for baths and showers for your body well i used one of those brushes and you start um with your skin dry before you wet it uh you start uh rubbing with the brush you start with your feet and you work your way up your body first you do your feet then your legs your thighs your stomach your chest your arms your back as much as you you can reach all over your body and you do like a circular motion is what you do with the brush you do a circular motion like that your skin dry and you keep on you keep on you do it really good all over your body once you're doing done doing that you take a really hot shower you shower wash your hair whatever um right before you finish your shower before you close the um the before you close the water before you turn off the water um you turn the water cold the hot water is to open up your pores so while you're bathing your pores are open all those toxins are coming out right before you're done with your shower you turn the water really cold as cold as you could stand it and you just let the the shower just run through your body the cold water so that your pores could close back up and those toxins don't go back inside your system um, the reason why I started to notice this was working and I after I, I after I had that one experience I googled it and it says that's exactly how you know that your body is getting rid of toxins not everybody might experience this but trust me you guys it does work so even if you don't see physical evidence you it does work one day I developed um, I'm not one to like break out much unless I'm going to like get my period or something I really don't break out easily so I noticed a pimple a really red pimple on my arm and I was like wow it was like it just looked like weird you know like I normally don't get those so I googled it and it says that sometimes when your body is detoxing on its the toxins on its way out might get like clogged up in a pore and a thing so that's how you know that it's actually working if you you know if you see one of those don't freak out it'll it'll go away by itself it'll pop don't even pop it don't do nothing to it leave it alone it'll go away by itself it just means that your body that it's working that the the D, the detox is working and your body's getting rid of the toxins this goes great with juicing I mean it's even better if you juice while you're doing the 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 thing every day I would do it every day like I said that was my routine wake up in the morning juice throughout the day cut carbs and sugars um, in the morning do my juice take my um, I started preparing my body with folic acid every day folic acid and prenatal vitamins and then in the later on in the afternoon I waited for the Sun to go down a little because the heat here in Miami is unbearable so um, we will go after 5 p.m. and uh, walk around the park for an hour that was my daily exercise uh, get home right before the shower detox what like I just explained to you guys and that's it you guys that was my daily routine really and I was very faithful taking my prenatal vitamins my folic acid and maca root so I didn't start using the progesterone cream until I found out I was pregnant as soon as I found out I was pregnant I started using the progesterone cream the progesterone cream has instructions in the in the jar uh, <clears throat> I would buy the uh, I think it was called nature source natural progesterone cream and um, I would just use it on like the inside of my wrist on my chest you know I would just like alternate uh, every day I would use it twice a day as recommended in the jar uh, once in the morning and once at night um, so the spots that work the most where you, where your bloodstream will um, will will take it in would be your the inside of your wrist the inside of your thighs your neck your chest you can even put it on your breast your face uh, the back of your knees um, just spots like that that are very sensitive 
uh, your stomach and I would use it faithfully every single day until pretty much until I delivered the baby so for you guys who are wondering who don't know um, about what I you know what I did before about my who, who haven't been following my channel since I started the weight loss journey and everything pretty much that's all I did to get pregnant so I just wanted to clarify that about the progesterone cream because I don't want um, I don't want to like give false information or something I don't want there to be like miscommunic miscommunication here so yeah the progesterone cream did not help me get pregnant the progesterone cream helped me sustain the pregnancy along with the maca root the maca root is actually if you suffer from PCOS and you've tried everything and you still don't get cycles trust me the maca root works wonders I I used to take Provera and it was it was very harsh um, I felt like it was just a synthetic period really like my body was forced into doing something that it's supposed to do but it didn't feel like really because my body was doing it naturally so you know I I, I don't like harsh drugs I don't like prescription drugs I tried to stay away from them so that's when I started looking into the maca root and it's what worked for me really as soon as I started started taking the maca root um, within a month I, I already started getting my cycles on my own regularly so and maca root is safe to take during pregnancy so you guys don't be afraid um actually i i suggest that you take it i mean even after you get pregnant take keep taking it i took it throughout my entire pregnancy with jacob um i didn't stop i didn't stop the routine that i had while uh, before I got pregnant with him I didn't stop while being pregnant the only thing that I didn't do while being pregnant was juicing because for some reason I guess I don't know if the baby didn't like it or whatever but every time that I would uh, juice and try to drink it during pregnancy I would like just throw up like no my body did not like it during pregnancy so that's fine but you know as long as you continue taking your folic acid your prenatals um, if you started taking maca root before getting pregnant keep taking it and good luck you guys I mean that's pretty much what I did that's what worked for me um, obviously I'm not a medical expert but I'm just sharing my experience with you guys and what worked for me so I hope you guys find it helpful and if you haven't looked into maca root and you suffer from PCOS you guys give it a try give it a try because honestly I swear by it thanks to it I started getting my cycles regular and thanks to that and the maca and the progesterone cream I do believe that that's why I was able to sustain the pregnancy after two miscarriages so there you have it guys I hope you find the information helpful and useful and good luck to all you TTCers out there and lots of baby dust bye bye guys